divisions of the gatekeepers. For the divisions of the gatekeepers there were of the Korahites, Meshelimiah the son of Ka, of the sons of Asaph. Meshelimiah had sons, Zechariah the firstborn, Jediel the second, Zebadiah the third, Chthniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Johanan the sixth, and Elahonai the seventh. Obdadam had sons, Shemiah the firstborn, Jehzubad the second, Joah the third, Sakar the fourth, Natanel the fifth, Emil the sixth, Issachar the seventh, and Pulatai the eighth. God had indeed blessed him. Also to his son Shemiah sons were born who ruled over the house of their father, for they were valiant mighty men. The sons of Shemiah were Adnai, Riphael, Obd, and Elzabad, whose brothers, Elihu and Simechiah, were valiant men. All these were of the sons of Obdadam. They and their sons and relatives were able men with strength for the service, 62 from Obdadam. Meshelimia had sons and relatives, 18 valiant men. Also Hosea, one of the sons of Merari had sons, Shimri the first although he was not the firstborn, his father made him first, Hilkiah the second, Tibali the third, and Zechariah the fourth. The sons and relatives of Hosea were 13 in all. To these divisions of the gatekeepers, to the chief men, were given duties like their relatives, to serve in the house of the Lord. They cast lots, the small and the great alike, according to their father's households, for every gate. The lot to the east fell to Shalemia. Then they cast lots for his son Zechariah, a counselor with insight, and his lot came out to the north. For Obadam it fell to the south, and to his sons went the storehouse. For Shabim and Hosea it was to the west, by the gate of Shalecheth, on the ascending highway. It corresponded to God. On the east there were six Levites, on the north four daily, on the south four daily, and at the storehouse two by two. At the annex on the west there were four at the highway and two at the annex. These were the divisions of the gatekeepers of the sons of Kara and of the sons of Merari. Keepers of the treasure. The Levites, their relatives, were in charge of the treasures of the house of God and of the treasures of the dedicated gifts. The sons of Laden, the sons of the Jashonites belonging to Laden, namely, the Jehelites, were the heads of the father's households, belonging to Laden the Jashonite. The sons of Jehili, Zetham, and his brother Joel, were in charge of the treasures of the house of the Lord. As for the Amramites, the Azarites, the Hebronites, and the Uzielites, Shabul the son of Jashom, the son of Moses, was officer over the treasures. His relatives by Eliza were Habia his son, Jeshaiah his son, Jerem his son, Zikri his son, and Shalemoth his son. This Shalemoth and his relatives were in charge of all the treasures of the dedicated gifts which King David and the heads of the father's households, the commanders of thousands and hundreds, and the commanders of the army, had dedicated. They dedicated part of the spoils won in battles to repair the house of the Lord. And all that Samuel the seer had dedicated, and Saul the son of Kish, Abner the son of Nah, and Joab the son of Zeruiah, everyone who had dedicated anything, all of this was under the care of Shalemoth and his relatives. Outside duties. As for the Zarites, Chananiah and his sons were assigned to outside duties for Israel, as officers and judges. As for the Hebronites, Hashabir and his relatives, 1700 capable men, were responsible for the affairs of Israel west of the Jordan, for all the work of the Lord and the service of the king. As for the Hebronites, Jerijah the chief these Hebronites were sought out according to their genealogies and father's households, in the fortieth year of David's reign, and men of outstanding capability were found among them at Jazer of Jilead. And his relatives, capable men, numbered 2,700, heads of father's households. And King David appointed them as overseers of the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of the Manassites concerning all the affairs of God and of the king.